there aren't the common console commands, but here are some cool binds that might help your game. These won't necessarily make you a better player instantly, but I think these binds can be useful for you guys. Enjoy. But first, to have these binds saved every time the game is opened, you should add them to the autoexec.cfg folder. And for those that don't know how to access this file, here's the step-by-step -step procedure. Right-click CSGO from your Steam library. Click Properties, select Local Files, and click Browse. This will then open the file folder. You select the CSGO folder, and after that, you look for the CFG folder. Once accessed, search for the autoexec.cfg file. Once you open this file, this is where you will paste the commands that you need to be saved every time you open the game. By saving it in the autoexec, you won't have to rebind everything in the console if the binding gets reset. So the first bind would be the jump throw bind. It is almost essential at this point because it allows for more consistent jump throw lineups. Here's how you set up this bind. Go to your autoexec folder, then type the following commands shown on screen. I recommend binding it to an easy to press key. The next bind would be the style 6 crosshair. There used to be a bug with the crosshair settings wherein the crosshair style has a 6th option and it would give you an improved dynamic crosshair. It had a smaller dynamic gap and I could see why people like the crosshair style. Unfortunately, this was patched and the highest crosshair value now remains at style 5. Interestingly enough, a Reddit user found a workaround and was able to replicate the features of the so-called style 6 crosshair. To get this special crosshair, just type the commands shown on screen to your autoexec. The plus style 6 alias will serve as your crosshair gap when holding the fire button, while the minus style 6 will be the crosshair gap when you aren't shooting. Feel free to change the gap to your liking. However, this crosshair won't necessarily show an accurate weapon spread and reset because the crosshair instantly shrinks as soon as you let go of mouse 1. The third bind would be different crosshairs for different weapon slots. This bind allows you to swap between several crosshairs if you prefer different ones for your primary and secondary weapons. You can even have a utility crosshair for tricky grenade lineups. Just type the following commands shown on screen. The fourth console bind would be radar customizations. Honestly, the default radar settings aren't the most optimal. The map is zoomed in and you only get to see what is near you. While you can enlarge the radar by hitting tab, it becomes a crutch and can even get you killed. Here are my suggestions for those who haven't customized their radar yet. There's the CL radar always centered, you can set that to zero. And there's also the CL radar scale. With these commands, you get to see more of the map, what your teammates are doing, and what they are seeing. And if you want a toggle bind to expand and shrink the radar, you can do so by typing the following commands on the console. Again, feel free to change the key to your liking and also feel free to change the scale. The last console command would be for clearing blood and decals. The blood stains and bullet marks on the walls can sometimes hinder you from spotting enemies. With the R underscore clear decals command, you can now clear these effects. Personally, I have my clear decals key bound to the inspect key, but feel free to bind it to your preference. The only downside for this bind is that you might miss out on certain information such as the enemy's health. So that's pretty much it for this short video. I hope that you guys find some use for the console commands I mentioned. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I, I'm gonna head out.